हेलो एंड वेलकम टू न्यूज क्लिक नमस्कार मेरा नाम पर अंजॉय गुहा ठाकुर था और आज मेरे साथ ये न्यूज क्लिक का स्टूडियो में वरिष्ठ पत्रकार कावेरी बामजाए बत्तीस साल इन्होंने पत्रकारिता किया इंडिया टुडे मैगजीन में थे इससे पहले आज वो स्वाधीन लेखक है और आज हमारे चर्चा का विषय है यस बैंक जो आज एक बुरी स्थिति में है सरकार सोच रहे हैं कि आपका पैसा मेरा पैसा लेके स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया भारतीय स्टेट बैंक इनका पैसे लेके ये कंपनी ये निजी बैंक कंपनी नहीं निजी बैंक को बचाने के लिए सरकार अलग अलग कार्यक्रम कर रहे हैं ये स्थिति में कैसे आए इस विषय के ऊपर मैं कावेरी से पूछ रहा हूं कावेरी कुछ दिन पहले कुछ दिन क्यों मैं बताऊं मैं एक साल पहले हेमेंद्र हजारी से यही न्यूज क्लिक के लिए एक साक्षात्कार किया और उन उस समय उन्होंने कहा कि शेक्सपियर का जो नाटक है हेमलेट ही सेड इट्स अ ग्रिम शेक्सपियरियन ट्रेजेडी नाउ इट वाज फाउंड इन यस बैंक दैट फॉर टू सक्सेसिव इयर्स फॉर आई थिंक एफ वाई सिक्सटीन एंड एफ वाई सेवनटीन द बैंक हैड रिपोर्टेड डाइवर्जेंस now this is very critical because <clears throat> the market valuation of the banks which are listed on the stock exchange is determined by the profits and the nps that they report so if you are suppressing that number <clears throat> you are actually distorting uh, valuation and market pricing you are also the senior management salary performance is all linked to these numbers so you are distorting senior management compensation so to me it is a very big faux pas that you have been pulled up by the banking regulator for cooking your books okay. and in my opinion if a bank reports it once it is absolutely shameful if it reports it in two consecutive years the ceo the chief financial officer the head of the audit committee of the board and the auditor must be immediately replaced aur unhone samjhaya ki parivar ke andar jhagra और जब एक व्यक्ति का अहंकार बढ़ जाते हैं तो वो भी एक तरह जाके आज देखिए कहाँ पहुँच गए राणा कपूर जो एक समय पांच सितारा होटल और विश्व के बड़े बड़े जगह में घूम रहे थे आज एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट ही इज बिहाइंड बार्स हाउ हाउ डू एनालाइज दिस पर्सनालिटी राणा कपूर Uh, I think I would like to look at him not just as a personality, but as a uh, symptom of the kind of rogue billionaires we've had. मतलब ऐसे वो अकेले ही नहीं हैं. Sahara, Shubhrat Roy, Nirav Modi, Ratul Puri. ये सब लोगों का अगर आप करियर देखेंगे, they're all. आपने Vijay Malia का नाम? Vijay Malia. वो तो खैर legacy businessman हैं, but फिर भी. मैं uh, मैं इन सर्ट ऑफ प्रोफेशनल बिजनेसमैन की बात कर रही हूँ नॉट इवन हैड अ बैकग्राउंड इन बिजनेस यू नो इफ यू लुक एट देम इनका तरीका क्या है द वे दे प्रोग्रेस बिग बिजनेस तो ये हैं ही बिग ब्यूरोक्रैट्स बिग पॉलिटिशियंस बॉलीवुड ये सब ये राना कपूर पिक्चर्स विद शरद पवार विद चिदम्बरम विद नितिन गडकरी इन डेवोस इन डेवोस ये देर इज दिस पिक्चर वेर इज नॉट ओनली प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी यू हैव नरेश गोयल यू हैव नीरव मोदी यू हैव चंदा चंदा कुछ एंड राना कपूर ऑफकोर्स सो दिंग इज दैट यू यू क्रिएट दिस इमेज ऑफ योर सेल्फ वेर यू सीन इज अनटचेबल you know you're seen in the company of the best and the brightest in the country and your network is across various categories of society so there is no way that anyone looks at you as a possibly shady character as someone who has underhand dealings phir kya karte hain ye log ab aap dekhiye paytm ke jo founder hai unhone sabse pehli cheez kya kari when he got a big payout he bought a house in 
अमृता शेर गिल मार के बात किया ना बिल्कुल आप मुझे ये ये जो ये जो राणा कपूर राणा कपूर का भी है वहाँ पे और कहा किसके नाम में है आप जानते हैं ना इससे पहले थे सीजी पार यानी कि गौतम था पर जी उनका संपत्ति था अमृता शेरगिल मार्को दो चार नाम और बता देता हूँ मैं आपको समुद्र महल की आप बात कर रहे थे आप ही ने मुझे बताया एंड इट्स फैसिनेटिंग दैट बिलोंग्स टू ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया बिल्कुल एंड आप कह रहे थे कि ही इज नॉट द ओनली टेनेंट देयर इन अ वे वर्ली में जाइए आप देखिए ये 27 28 साल 27 मंजिल का मकान है वर्ली में जहां पे एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टेड 7 मार्च इनको छापा लगाया ये ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया का फ्लैट है और वही वही बिल्डिंग में वही बिल्डिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स में नंदन नीलेकानी नारायण मूर्ति नीरव मोदी विजय माल्या इन सब का संपत्ति है वहाँ पे सो आई थिंक ये एक दिस इज सिम्टोमेटिक ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म वी हैव इन दिस कंट्री दैट यू नॉट जस्ट यू आर नॉट जस्ट इन द बिजनेस ऑफ बिल्डिंग अ कंपनी यू आर इन द बिजनेस ऑफ बिल्डिंग योर इमेज तो आप मैगजीन भी खरीदेंगे मैगजीन के कवर पे अपने बच्चों को भी डालेंगे आप फिर कॉन्क्लेव और समित स्पॉन्सर करेंगे फिर आप एक, एक में, तो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी भी बात किया जी जो इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स का जो बड़े बड़े कार्यक्रम थे वाइल्ड दिस बैंक वॉज कोलैप्सिंग दिस वॉज ऑल्सो हैपनिंग सो टेल्स यू अबाउट द ड्यू डिलीजेंस दैट्सिंग इन दिस गवर्नमेंट ये इसके इसके बारे में और थोड़ा बहुत हम कहेंगे मगर दो कदम पीछे आप चले जाइए ये येस बैंक दो में राणा कपूर और हेनिस ब्रदर इन लॉ उनका नाम है अशोक कपूर इन्होंने ये रिटेल बैंकिंग बिजनेस साथ साथ एसेट मैनेजमेंट बिजनेस में शुरू किया इन्होंने और ये जो अशोक अशोक कपूर जी वो आतंकवादी ने इनको जनवरी 2013 में मुंबई के ट्राइडेंट ओबराय होटल में इनका हत्या हुई थी उस समय वो नॉन एग्जीक्यूटिव चेयरमैन थे वो ग्रीनलेज बैंक में करियर शुरू किया ए बी एन एम रो रेबो बैंक तो मतलब आज उसके बाद When the fight began within, such मुझ वही शेक्सपियर का कहानी भाई बहन it it became a ugly इंटरनेसाइन family feud. इसके बारे में कुछ आप कहिए ये ये क्या सिर्फ लालच संपत्ति It is it all about greed that that you start fighting even with your own relatives? Yeah, but I think we've seen it in many families. Uh, the Kapoor's are not alone uh, because, as you said, Bollywood ka kahani. Uh, ji, uh, as you said, Ambani parivar mein bhi humne dekha. Bilkul, bhai, bhai, uh, sisters-in-law, they just don't get along. So we've seen this uh, repeated in many, many uh, places. But I think the point to make here is the succession management. This has always been a problem with privately owned and individually owned companies, and companies that have done that properly. We saw that Infosys was nearly going the same way when Mr. Narayan Murthy decided to uh, keep his son as his executive assistant, and there were murmurs that perhaps. This was going to become a family-run company. So look Till, at the fight between Ratan Tata and Cyrus Mistry. Exactly. Yes. So I think where there is no proper succession management, or there is no proper governance by the board. Now, in the case of Infosys, they stepped in and they, you know, sort of raised uh, the alarm and said this cannot happen, and they prevented what was possibly could have been a uh, could have been again one of अच्छा, those अच्छा, cases where कभी नहीं एक चीज आप देखिए ये जो amount है इसमें कुछ विवाद है enforcement directed कह रहे हैं कि कम से कम बीस हजार करोड़ इसकी एन पी एस नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट मतलब आपने लोन दिया आपको आपका कर्जा एक तरह से वापस नहीं पे आपका पैसा वापस नहीं आया और ये किसका पैसा है आम आदमी का पैसा हाँ हाँ सब्सक्राइबर्स मनी और आप देखिए किस कैसे और पूरा जो बैंक का जो एक्सपोजर था दो लाख करोड़ से भी ज्यादा दो दशमलव दो पांच लाख करोड़ और और भी लोग कहते हैं कि इससे भी ज्यादा हो सकता है एनपीएस मगर कंपनीज देखिए आप इसमें अनिल धीरूभाई अंबानी ग्रुप की कंपनीज है इसके जो दीवान हाउसिंग फाइनेंस डीएचएफएल ग्रुप है वाधवन परिवार के है जी ग्रुप है जी ग्रुप के हेड है सुभाष चंद्रा जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के राज्यसभा के सांसद सांसद है आप 
एक जो नॉन बैंकिंग फाइनेंशियल कंपनी जो डूब गया आई एल एन एफ एस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लीजिंग एंड फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज और भी बहुत सारे कंपनीज को येस बैंक ने लोन्स दिया और इसमें कॉक्स एंड किंग्स है इंडिया बोल्स ग्रुप है और एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टेड क्या आरोप लगा रहे कि आप पैसा दीजिए इन लोग को और वही पैसा घूम फिर के या एक कंपनी से दूसरे कंपनी से तीसरे कंपनी से कहीं परिवार के कंपनीज के वापस आ जाते हैं दे हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द ईडी हैज आइडेंटिफाइड इन कोर्ट आई थिंक मोर देन सेवेंटी सच कंपनीज आई थिंक सेवेंटी एट सच कंपनीज तो आप इसका इसके बारे में आप क्या सत है एक तरह से एक पैटर्न हम yeah. देख रहे हैं ना एंड पैटर्न ये है दैट यू क्रिएट पीपल लाइक यू जैसे पी एल यूज कहते हैं ना यहाँ सी एल यूज है कंपनीज लाइक अस कॉपरेट्स लाइक अस एंड ये ऑल दीज कॉपरेट्स बिकम इंडेटेड टू यू सो यू आर बाइंग साइलेंस इन अ वे यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ सॉर्ट ऑफ पैक्ट ऑफ साइलेंस अराउंड यू बिकॉज डी एच एफ एल इज गोइंग डाउन द ट्यूब्स दे प्रोमोटर्स आर बिजी पार्टी ब्राइटेस्ट इन बॉलीवुड और सबसे दुख का बात है कि ये सरकार को मालूम था आप आप देखिए 31 जनवरी 2019 में यस बैंक का बोर्ड बोला कि राणा कपूर को और एक्सटेंड इस टर्म मगर भारतीय रिजर्व बैंक से नो ही वाज लिटरली टोल्ड टू गो और देखिए उस समय भी <coughs> वो जाने के लिए तैयार नहीं थे और उससे पहले क्या हुआ था आप देखिए भारतीय रिजर्व बैंक जो है ये बैंकिंग सेक्टर का रेगुलेटर है इनका काम है नियंत्रण करना फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू आर भारतीय रिजर्व बैंक जो कह रहे हैं और यस बैंक जो कह रहे हैं इसमें पांच गुना से ज्यादा इसका फर्क आ रहा है उसका डाइवर्जेंस 2000 एफ वाई सिक्सटीन में चार हजार एक सौ सतहत्तर करोड़ एफ वाई सेवनटीन में छह हजार तीन सौ पचपन करोड़ और आपका जो मुनाफा है जो प्रॉफिट्स आप दिखा रहे हैं बना के दिखा रहे ये भारतीय रिजर्व बैंक कह रहे तो आप दो साल लगातार लगातार जाने दिया आपने एकदम आप और और, और और कहीं देख रहे थे अशोक चावला जी जो फाइनेंस सेक्रेटरी थे वो, वो आपके नॉन एग्जीक्यूटिव चेयरमैन थे और देखिए ओपी भट्ट जी जो भारतीय स्टेट बैंक का चेयरमैन था उन्होंने रिकमेंड किया ही वाज ऑन द ऑन द बोर्ड टू रिकमेंड अ न्यू सी ओ बट ही ऑल्सो ऑन द बोर्ड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड चार्ट बैंक एंड दे आर कम्पीटिंग विथ ईच अदर एंड तो तो बात है कि ये जो नॉमिनेशन एंड रेम्यूनरेशन कमिटीज होते हैं ऑडिट कमिटीज होते हैं बैंक में उत्तम प्रकाश उत्तम प्रकाश अगरवाल रेप्यूटेड चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट मुंबई का बल उनका वो शिवसेना का नज़दीक है वो ही ही स्टूड एज अ कैंडिडेट ऑफ द शिवसेना फ्रॉम द बोडेवली कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी मगर ऐसे भी लोग थे उसमें जो इस्तीफा दे दिया और और एक उदाहरण है मिस्टर चंद्रशेखर आर चंद्रशेखर ही वाज फॉर्मर सेक्रेटरी टेलीकॉम नेस्कॉम और उन इस्तीफा देने के समय उन्होंने कागज में लिख के दिया तो व्हाई डू यू थिंक द गवर्नमेंट एंड द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया टुक सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम इन एक्टिंग एवरीथिंग वॉज नोन द राइटिंग वॉज ऑन द वर्ल्ड सबको मालूम था किस तरह से ये बैंक चल रहे या नहीं चल रहे बट आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट अ लोन ना बिकॉज अगर वो ये इसको देखेंगे तो मतलब वे विल दे स्टॉप फिर उनको अडैग के अकाउंट्स भी देखने पड़ेंगे उनको फिर डी एच एफ एल पे भी एक्शन लेना पड़ेगा रतुल पूरी पे भी एक्शन मतलब देर इज नो एंड टू इट और देखिए इसमें राजनीति भी आ गया बिल्कुल आप देखिए किस तरह से नहीं 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 वो जो मकबूल फिदा हुसैन जी का जो जो पेंटिंग है राजीव गांधी का पेंटिंग राजीव गांधी की पेंटिंग है प्रियंका गांधी ऑक्शन करती है दो दो देखिए दो करोड़ रुपया में प्रियंका वाद्रा ये लिया मिलिंद देवरा का चिट्ठी है और एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टेड कह रहे ये कांग्रेस का संपत्ति है प्रियंका कह रहे ये मेरा व्यक्तिगत संपत्ति है मेरा आयकर का आईटी रिटर्न्स में लिखा हुआ है और ये 1984 में तो मेरा कहना ये है यू आर ट्राइंग टू गिव अ ट्विस्ट टू इट आप कह रहे कि यूपीआई के जमाने में दिया आप फिगर्स देखिए 2014 से 2019 जिस रफ्तार से इसका यस yes, बैंक का टोटल एडवांसेस बड़ा आप आश्चर्य हो जाएंगे पचपन करोड़ से पचहत्तर हजार करोड़ एक लाख करोड़ एक लाख बत्तीस हजार करोड़ दो लाख करोड़ और 2019 में दो लाख इकतालीस हजार सो द कंपनी वॉज सॉर्ट ऑफ एडवांसिंग मनी एंड इट्स एंड द रिजर्व बैंक इट सेल्फ एट सेट योर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट आर फंड यू हैव कुकड अप योर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट 
and and you're advancing money to companies that are clearly not doing well so how is this all balancing out and i want to give you another example look at naresh goel of jet airways you have the same kind of situation there unko bhi pata hai that his company is going under tata's come and give him an offer wo kehte nahi nahi i don't want this i want to look at a better deal again you have that same promoters and, and, and company absolutely. the ego that i want to keep this company i have built it i will decide where it will go this is all what we call i mean we began with shakespeare we have to end with greek tragedy and, and no no be, be, before we come to the greek tragedy part at the end of the day it's a tragedy for all of us it's Because your it's money. money that's right it's, it's the money, money that belongs to the people yes. of this country aap dekhiye jo bharatiya reserve bank ka jo board nominee tha r gandhi ji wo deputy governor the bharatiya reserve bank wo november 18 mein ye kahin se s spgp holdings arvin singh bright sitax holdings aur bar bar wo unko vishwas kar rahe hai ki hum paisa le raha hai hum hamara company hamara bank doobing ne doobne nahi denge paisa le lenge finally it was found out that none of this money and mr rana kapoor's lawyer mr manish shinde says no no everything was fine till mr rana kapoor was asked to leave mera kehna ye hai dekhi abhi bhi kuch log the jaise aapne himendra hazari ke baat kiya jo news click mein saaf saaf bataya that the rbi the reserve bank of india had clearly pointed Jee. out all the fudging of the figures the cooking of the books on account and the grim shakespearean tragedy nothing happened the rbi fit and proper guidelines are very clear that even in a pending investigation that's why i emphasize the word pending that's the word used it does not make the candidate fit and proper okay let's talk about vasant gujarati the head of the board's audit committee um now you explain um See the moment the circumstances he was a member of the uh, audit committee since april 2014 he was chairman from april 2016 uh why is it i mean do you believe that the board rather belatedly held him accountable for the two years that is um, fiscal year 2016 and fiscal year 2017 the years where you say that the bank allegedly fudged its accounts Firstly I'm not saying allegedly it's the regulator has the said the regulator has said so there's no there's no alle- allegation here it is proven it is not I am alle- you know alleged <coughs> so the point is where is the accountability then when the regulator has pointed out that the accounts are not showing a true and fair picture who are the individuals to be held accountable and you believe that and i believe that, that the head of the audit committee who you know all the accounts then go to him for clearance the chief financial officer the ceo and the auditor all must be held accountable and all of them have to be sacked all right let's talk a little bit about mr op bhat he was a former chairman of the country's largest bank the state bank of india He's been an independent director on the board of the Standard Chartered Bank since January 2013, and according to the disclosures made uh, by the Standard Chartered Bank, uh, it contributes about seven percent of its income. Uh, about seven percent of its income comes from India, and therefore you think that Standard Chartered Bank and Yes Bank are competitors, and therefore you believe it's highly unusual for Yes Banks. nominations and remuneration committee he was uh, one of the two external candidates should be assisting the board in the selection of the yes the the, the next ceo of yes bank since uh, he's uh, in a competing bank and and you believe there's a conflict of interest and it sh- and mr but should not have accepted what you describe as a rather uh, as a lucrative assignment and you believe it's very very strange that mr bhat uh, should have been allowed by standard chartered bank to be associated in the selection of the ceo of a rival bank i mean so <laughs> why why did all this happen and 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 uh, i'm i'm trying to figure out how 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 uh, this whole business uh, took place i mean how how did this entire episode see this is my inspire? view because according to me one should not pick a director of a rival bank firstly to be on part of your panel to select your chief executive officer your future officer because both these banks are competing with each other in this market second is that you are normally when these private sector banks look for external candidates 
they normally would definitely consider some of the senior managers in the foreign banks. And Standard Chartered Bank is a fairly prominent bank, foreign bank in India. So when you shortlist your candidates, it is highly probable that one of or two of those individuals could be Standard Chartered senior managerial personnel. So how can you appoint someone who serves on their board where it is highly probable and possible that the shortlisted candidates would include, you know, Standard Chartered Bank senior management personnel? And therefore, in my view, the nominations and remuneration committee of the board should never have recommended such an individual. Because you believe there is what is called a glaring conflict of interest. Yes, and All the right. individual himself should have not accepted such an assignment. So, Mr. Bhatt has done what he has uh, in his own wisdom. Uh, we don't have his view here at this particular juncture. But after Mr. Rana Kapoor was forced, as you say, to depart on the 31st of January 2019, at the instance of the Reserve Bank of India, the two factions in the family of promoters that founded the bank continues. All, as we say, the former chairman, the head of the audit committee, a key external advisor, all left. The board of Yes Bank elevated ex executive director Mr. Rajat Monga as the chief financial officer. No, he was elevated from the post of chief financial officer where he was earlier. Then he was transferred to, to another and, post and, and then executive, ex executive. made executive. Now, you don't think it should have been done because after all, Mr. Monga, mm, has his appointment been cleared by the no, Reserve Bank? As of, because an executive director's post is subject to regulatory ap uh, approval. Has it been cleared? And so far, it has not been done. Okay. So, so we don't know whether the RBI will do it or it's not going to do it. Tell me about Mr. Uttam Prakash Agarwal. He's a chartered accountant come politician. You see, when he was appointed, the Yes Bank press release spoke about his experience of a chartered accountancy profession. But it did not mention that he was also a politician. And that in the he belongs last to which party? He, in the last Maharashtra elections, he stood as a candidate of the Shiv Sena party uh, for the seat in Borevli and he lost. Now, to me, that's very critical information which should have been given to the public because normally, especially in banks, it is not looked upon very favorably when politicians are appointed on the board because you're dealing with public money. But because there's, there's nothing barring... Uh, there's nothing barring. I'm not saying he's done something... I'm not saying that the bank has done something illegal, mind you. I, as an analyst, am cautioned. What is his present position at present? At present, he must. I mean, he's. We know that he's a politician also because he stood from the uh, the Shiv Sena no, political he, he's party. He's just a board. He's just a director. At the moment, he's he's a board member. He, he's not the head of the. Uh, audit he could committee. become. That's what I'm saying because he's he's an audit. I mean, he's a, a chartered accountant. Okay. Now you've also mentioned that on the 20th of November, the former secretary of the Department of Telecommunications in the Ministry of Communications, Government of India, Mr. R. Chandrasekhar, who is of course, now with the NASCOM or the National, uh, it's the National Association for Software and Service Companies. He's on the, he was, was an independent director on the board of Yas Bank and he resigned. And uh, he's been quoted as saying he wasn't happy with the way developments were taking place in the recent past and the way it was handled. Your comments? You see, I've been a major critic of independent directors of most of these private sector banks. Because I believe they have not been doing their jobs. They are accountable to the minor, you know, to the shareholders and not just to the promoters. But in this case, you know, he was appointed very recently. He was appointed, if I'm not mistaken, sometime in early 2018. And he resigned in a couple of months after serving. And he has recorded his dissent in that letter, which is again very rare uh, for an independent director to do. So it is very apparent that he was not at all happy with some of their practices and therefore he decided to resign and note it most importantly uh, in his resignation letter which I think is a very positive feature and I think speaks highly of the individual. Okay. Your article, your 20th November 2018 article in The Wire, uh, it begins with Hamlet, it ends with Hamlet and you point out how the entire royal family of Denmark all died gruesome deaths. <laughs> the family ended up killing each other before the Prince of Norway took over the crown. 
this rather grisly, gruesome analogy. Uh, how appropriate is it for this bank? And what are you suggesting? That is, in the case of, uh, as in the ILFS kind of thing, case you want the government to actually throw out the old board completely, bring in a completely new set of people. Is is that what you are recommending or suggesting? Is that now? Let us look at what has actually transpired, which is fact. The Reserve Bank of India has deemed it that the CEO, who is also the promoter, Mr. Rana Kapoor, is not fit and proper to continue as chief executive officer. The chairman of Yes Bank has had to resign <coughs> under dubious circumstances, being named in a criminal investigation. The head of the audit committee has had to resign because of the bank was fudging its books as detected by the Reserve Bank of India. Now, you're having very critical leadership in this bank, uh, which has been, you know, asked to go under very dubious circumstances. So what does it tell you about the way a bank is being managed? And in a bank, it's the public money who is the largest Precisely. stakeholder. And here we have a large number of people who say privatization, the private banking sector is far more efficient than the public sector banks, and we have to support them, strengthen them. You are arguing to the contrary. Exactly. Because if the market had to function in theory, the board should have realized all these problems earlier and taken swift action. The board should have should have removed, uh, uh, you know, Rana Kapoor. The board should have asked the chairman of the board to step down. But none of this was done. If it had not been for the regulator and analysts like myself, you know, shouting our voices in the practically in the wilderness, and no action would have been taken. Mr. Rana Kapoor would have deemed fit by the board to continue with another term as well as they recommended. So in such cases, I think the RBI as a regulator has to send a very stern message to the private sector banks, which I think it is really not doing. And you should, they should send such a stern message that everyone else will fall in line. So at the end of the day, I think we have to summarize what are the lessons that we need to learn. If, if people of this country are going to pay for the malfeasance of a few crony capitalists or oligarchs. This is terrible for the country at a time when the economy of this country is in a mess. Yeah, when people can't find jobs, you know, there has to be. I'm not saying that we have to return to the moralistic socialism of the 60s and 70s, but there have to be certain values that we uphold and that we maintain. And I think those values are that there has, you cannot have, and I think someone said that, you cannot have private profits at that, that is Bishwajit Bharacharya, exactly. the lawyer, senior yeah, advocate. I think you that know, was the, wonderfully the question said. is, what was moral, moral about that time or immoral today? Yeah. I mean, these you are privatizing profits, and you're and, and you're and, making, and, and making your the public losses, pay for the losses. Uh, public, why should that happen? So, ab, our time is over. Very thank you. But this story will not end. How many others will emerge? That is the tragedy of Indian capitalism. In fact, you know, many of the other banks, private banks, Indusind Bank, a uh, whole lot of other banks, uh, there seem to be a sort of a ripple effect yeah. happening. They're all in a bad shape, you know. So uh, the economy is in a bad poor, shape. Because G, of G, poor corporate, G, corporate G, governance. G. Everyone looking the other way. G. So, Dhanivad, thank you so much for thank coming you. here and giving us your time. And you are watching News Click. We will tell you. कि ये यस बैंक का ये कहानी ये एक शेक्सपियरियन ये एक ट्रेजेडी कितने दूर चलेगा और कब तक ये सरकार आपका पैसा मेरा पैसा लेके ये कंपनी ये बैंक ये निजी बैंक को बचाएंगे धन्यवाद थैंक यू कीप वाचिंग न्यूज़ क्लिक